Well, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of a late day for this uh, late afternoon here in good old Canuckville. Uh, first of all, I want to send a big, big effing shout out to, uh, to Don Shipley and uh, his, uh, his lovely wife, Diane. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's just, you know, Don, uh, I'm going to comment here and uh, I'm going to tell you it's absolutely no surprise uh, with the uh, absolute insanity that uh, you have to deal with. Uh, on a daily basis, um, it seems that our it seems that our society as a whole has uh, has got this really um, fucked up perception uh, of what's cool and uh, what's not, sort of deal, you know. And um, you know, hey, uh, I'll tell you right now, um, <laughs> I think. Uh, you know, I think anybody that served uh, in the military, uh, even as a reservist or, or as a cadet even, or as, you know, anybody wanting or even at some time in their life being uh, motivated by one thing or another to go out and, and serve their country uh, is a great thing. Uh, you know what's not fucking cool? And to all you fucking creeps out there who are disrespecting, uh, you know, um, people who have clearly sacrificed uh, everything in their lives for you, for your freedoms, for your rights, for your religious beliefs, for you people to continually do this is totally not cool. Um, you know, recently there was a, uh, recently there was a uh, situation here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Um, the, uh, actually the, uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was actually attacked, or I don't know, in case you know, there was a, there was a, uh, there was a gentleman who, who actually managed to actually get into Parliament Hill, go figure, with a fucking shotgun. Of all things, you know, uh, but, uh, well, they uh, took care of his fucking ass, uh, the good old-fashioned way, if you know what I'm saying. And, uh, by the way, um, you know, just to put it out there to any, to any uh, of you, you know, extremists out there, uh, you know what, um, it's really, really, it's, it's really, really awesome that, uh, you know, because I know everything about being a fanatic. <laughs> uh, I have my own beliefs. And uh, time and time and again, um, when it comes, you know, push, push to shove, uh, you know, I mean, I can't tell, uh, I could sit here and tell you about the times that I was put into a trunk of a, a, trunk of a car, or I could tell you about, you know, uh, my time inside. Really... These are things that I, I just don't even ponder on uh, a daily basis. It's supposed to show you, hey, Don and Diane, how absolutely fucking giftedly blank I am because none of those things, none of none of these experiences in my life, uh, some of them being, being quite tragic, uh, really affect me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but you know, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell everybody out there that uh, you know it's it's absolutely horrid to see. Uh, what's going on today in our society, um, you know, and, and to see people really going out of their way to give Don Shipley a job. Not, hey, Don, not that I don't mind, not that I ab don't absolutely love watching your videos, but for the love of fucking God, people, like, you know, there has to be some contentious fucking borderline I mean, man, the, the the percentage of mental patients in the U.S. has got to like quadruple Canada's because, I mean, in one video alone, I've seen I've seen Don on on the phone with like 30, 40, 50 different fucking guys here, you know. It, it just uh, it just really really fucking sickens me. Uh, you know, everybody from a, a pig farmer to a fucking paramedic to a paramedic, you know, 
uh, to a fucking, uh, you know, by the way, this is not me wearing this, claiming to be a super ninja Navy SEAL assassin or anything. Actually, if you get a really close up, it says non-urgent transport. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, it belongs to my to my bro, uh, who uh, back in uh, 05, 06, uh, as you know, uh, actually from 01 to uh, 03 and then 05, 06, uh, 05, 06, of course, uh, as you very, very, well, many of you probably know, or some of you may not, there was something called Operation Iraqi Freedom. And uh, my brother, uh, my brother had to uh, go in and clean up, uh, after all you fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> he uh, was hired with Warrior Security, and uh, he was an emergency military tactician. Uh, and uh, he said it was not uh, not very fucking pretty over there. Uh, he actually was uh, he was actually up around the uh, Tigris River when they uh, came under fire for about two or three days fucking straight, and uh, lost uh, lost a buddy of his uh, by the name of Randy. And uh, actually, uh, believe it or not, uh, SOT uh, one and four. Uh, was actually pinned down, and a few of them were were, were injured. And uh, yeah, I don't know exactly all the details, but uh, my brother somehow managed to come back with uh, an SOT Operation Iraqi Freedom uh, SOT uh, one slash four shirt. You know, Don, the old red shield and the crossbones and the skull and stuff. And uh, yeah, so and he actually got his. Uh, uh, Operation Rocket Freedom Ring, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, so so I really tip my hat to uh, to people like him, who uh, you know obviously under uh, absolutely fucking insane circumstances can keep their head and uh, do what needs to be done. Uh, it's just such a great thing. But um, there's a special little fucking cocksucker out there. And I'm going to be making an example of you very, very soon, you fucking little clown. Anyways, uh, I got to head out and take care of biz and, uh, and do some things. So I'm going to let you all be. And uh, ciao.